We dictate our situationships by past programmings that's been embedded in us. We have the power to override that script though, that narrative, that programming that doesn't serve us. <laughs> We touch into your mind, body, and soul. 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 What up, what up, what up, my people? Dream Eyes here for another one. What is your temperature? The thermometer effect. Only it's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is this status you assume? The law of polarity states. Polarity. Everything is dual. Everything has poles. Everything has its pair of opposites. Opposites are identical in nature, but different in degree. Extremes meet. All paradoxes may be reconciled. Hmm. So that means we're sliding up and down a pole like them girls at Magic City. Yeah, that's right. There is a Magic City, and the city is in your mind. If poverty is on the same pole as prosperity, love is on the same pole as hate, cold is on the same pole as hot, then who is in control of the temperature? Is it cold in your magic city or is it hot? What meaning are you giving to the situation? Carl Jung says, but there is no energy unless there is a tension of opposites. Hence, it is necessary to discover the opposite to the attitude of the conscious mind. You are in control of your temperature. He's heating up! You are in control of what energy you're giving to these situationships, people, and circumstances. Polarity. Like and alike are the same. So if you find it attractive, someone else might find it disgusting. Ooh. Someone else might find it all right. I love you. It's the interpretation you're giving from your magic city. <laughs> Opposites are identical in nature, but different by degrees. How hot or cold are you on your pole? The key is to be in harmony, to be in balance, yin and yang, and to understand that low vibrational thought forms can arise, but do you have the power to transmute the thought into something positive and uplifting to your being? We dictate our situationships by past programmings that's been embedded in us. We have the power to override that script though, that narrative, that programming that doesn't serve us. What meaning are you giving to the situation? For example, when I was a kid, and even to my earlier teenage years, my mama and I had a solid, loving relationship. We did everything together, laughed, smiled, and was in a joyous space of unconditional love. When I turned 15, she met a man. The next year, that man became my stepdad. Womp, 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 womp. Everything changed. We didn't kick it as much. We didn't laugh as often. I was an outsider looking in, and my mama had a new sheriff in town. Fast forward into my 20s, I was in and out of relationships. Never took them seriously. Was scared to commit. I had abandonment issues and was hurting from something I put on my pole as negative and hurtful. 
Because of my subconscious programming from my mama, I associated a level of fear in my relationships, so I reacted in low vibrational states. They call it reactivity. Reactivity. The state or power of being reactive or the degree to which a thing is reactive. Once I came into consciousness and started working on myself, I reflected back to that teenage me and changed the circumstances in my mind. Message! Instead of me being hurt and angry that my mama had a man in her life, I congratulated the situation and was happy that she did find a love in her life. She wasn't abandoning me. She loved me unconditionally. And for me to take it personal was me loving on conditions. Loving on conditions that I formed in my mind as love. But the creator of my reality, my great mother, my subconscious programmer, doesn't have control of my magic city. I do. And I have to control how hot or cold my city is. Be conscious and deliberate about your meaning. You are in control of your son. You have the power to make it. Hot as hell. Dream wise. The correct result by assuming that there are all those uh, uh, evil drive. Evil drive, yes. You see, now that is something else. Yes. That was other manifestation. Now, in order not to presume or to prejudice things, I uh, speak simply of energy. Of energy. I need a, a, a quantity of, of energy.